Hey guys and welcome to episode 12 of my FM13 Everton series. Oh, this is the second time I've attempted to record this. First time I, my microphone wasn't plugged in properly. It was just using my stupid laptop, you know, default microphone which is terrible. But anyway, before I get started, I'd just like you to, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That would be much appreciated. Also, there's a great new website called supportsinteractive.com. Um, it is fabulous. I'm not getting paid to advertise, don't worry. It's just I'm beta testing on it. You can view it if you're a guest at the moment. Uh, just you can't join until they've completely released it live. But some of us have the... Uh, well, it just says time to change underwear. Thanks for the reminder. But yeah, <laughs> some of us have the opportunity to to just play around with it and it's it's really great definitely the best football manager website and one of the best websites in general I've seen also if you haven't followed us on Twitter follow us that would be grand um, I know a lot of you probably don't follow us some of us some of my uh, subscribers on YouTube because um, many of you may have subscribed after seeing other FM videos what whatever but most of you will be following already. But yes, that is about it for the shout outs. Just quick thin thing, thing, sorry. Bit flustered because the first recording didn't work. That's always annoying. But anyway, in the last video, of course, we saw the 1 0 victory against Man City in the Community Shield. That was brilliant. And going into the first game of the season, we were on a high, but we only drew 1 0 against Wolves on the opening day. Mark Noble with a debut goal and then a 1-0 victory an own goal gifted us that victory and a 2 draw against QPR Jelovic and Naismith with the goals and a 3-0 victory against West Brom I'll show you the goals so so yes I was hoping for 4 victories out of 4 in the first 4 games but it wasn't to be but Naismith opened the scoring in this game very impressive victory 3-0 against West Brom. Definitely happy with that. Second goal. Jelovic running through. Noble. Out to Morales. Using his pace. Jelovic on the rebound. From a Foster save. And finally. To make it 3-0. Pachicho. Morales. Fellaini. Noble. Out to Pachicho. Or Pachico. Sorry. And Morales got lucky. Deflected off a defender. And Morales just reacted quickly. To make it. 3-0 and a very good performance from him. Then a brilliant 4-0 victory against Zurich in the Euro Cup group stage. So here we go. A oh, brilliant 4-0 victory considering... Well, just a 4-0 victory against any European team is, is impressive when the group stage of the Europa Cup. Ferreira, that was a brilliant goal. First goal for the club, first start... And that was fabulous stuff. Second goal, early over the top, Ferreira, first time. Oh, brilliant. What a first touch, and then just finished it. Past the keeper. Great ball from Erdley as well. 3 0, Avido into Barkley. Foul in, Noble. It's just lovely passing here. Sensible play. Put it in, headed away. But then we started to play some nice triangles. Erdley, Noble, Barkley, Erdley. Noble, Barkley, Erdley, see, just lovely stuff. Headed away, fouling, outside of his foot, curled it into the top right hand corner. Absolutely sublime goal. And lastly, Williams, good tackle, but we lost that there. But then in came Jaggy Elka tanking home, winning the ball, fouling Green, who is the youngster making his debut. Fouling, Vido. Fouling again. Nice passing movement. Into Avido, into Green. Great first touch and finishes. Goal in his debut for the youngster who I brought up to the first team. So, excellent stuff. But then, unfortunately, we've gone on the, uh, a winless streak now. Disappointing 2 1 victory against Wolves in the Capital One Cup. Jello uh, Pino of the goal, sorry. And another 2-1 defeat in the Premiership, first of the season. Um, 
Jelovic scored, but a disappointing defeat. And then we drew against Stahl. Goal from Pacheco, his first goal for the club to make it 1 0. Very impressive 0 0 against Man City and against Arsenal 2. Happy with those results. And then 3 0 against 20. FC 20 in the Euro Cup group stage again. So, the goals. First goal. I was 3 0, uh, 3 1 up in this game, as you will see. Probably shouldn't spoil that for you and tell you, but anyway, um, so I was a bit disappointed with a 3 0 draw. But it's still better than a loss, I guess, and it was away from home. First goal, Ferreira Dunt running in. Pinar, great finish. 1 0. But then they equalised. Shida with a goal. But you will see more of Uma Damari for them in a bit. Second goal for us. What a great finish from Ferreira. Great first touch. Early over the top once again, just like we saw in the previous game. And then. 3-1, Morales came to Heitinger, finished. Then it was the Damari show, my favourite play, player from FM12. FC20 have signed him. He's still at an Israeli club in real life, and if someone doesn't sign him, they're just idiots, because if he's as good as he is um, F in real life as he is on Football Manager, then someone needs to buy him. That was a fabulous... It almost looked like a back hill. Um, can't remember what it was in 3D, but... And then he scored an even better goal. Great finish there. Threw a crowded pack of players into the corner. And my top tip would be to sign him. Because I think he's quite cheap at the start of the game. On FM12, after a couple of seasons, he was about 9 million. But at the start, he's a lot cheaper. And he just scores goals for fun. So if you need a striker, I would recommend him. He doesn't appear on everyone's. Because I know that I've tweeted about it about him in the past, and everyone's like, "What? Well, he's not there. I can't find him." Um, but that's probably because you've not got the large database open, and I've always got that open, so I always see him. So that's probably the reason, I would guess anyway. But anyhow, we are tenth in the the league, ten points, game in hand over most people. Two wins, four draws, and a defeat, plus three goal difference. Started to draw a lot again, but never mind. Hopefully we can turn them into wins. Next few games. Norwich, Hull, Reading, FC20, hopefully all victories. Chelsea will be tough. The next video I'll probably do around... I'll probably do it after my last Europa League game against Stahl. So perhaps... Or I might go a few games after that, maybe to the end of... Uh, January, we'll see how it goes um, but yes someone I remember saying a few videos ago they wanted to see my match preparation, so my general training is just this really, balance and average but during pre-season I have it on high and usually team cohesion new players come in and come in and I try and make them gel and usually teamwork as well but at the moment I've got an attacking movement um, next few games are against easier op uh, opposition, I would say, so I've put it all on attacking movement. But if you're playing a stronger team, you might want to put defensive p position in. If you're playing someone like Stoke, who are renowned for set pieces, put it on defensive set pieces. So that's what I generally do, if for those who are interested. But anyway, that's it for this video, I think. Check out our Twitter Check out my YouTube, obviously you're watching this video, so please subscribe if you haven't. And also the new website, Supports Interactive, it looks very good. Add me on there if uh, when you join up, when you're allowed to join up. I'm Golden Paul by the way, so you can find me quite easily. And until then, enjoy life. It's basically become my phrase at the end of games, uh, videos, sorry. So yeah, just generally enjoy Football Manager. I know it's hard sometimes when you're on a losing streak, but just, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. And until next time, thanks for watching.